Okay, what I want to talk about today, folks, is what's inside of a GFI breaker. Whether it's a receptacle or a breaker, it's going to operate the same. And the first thing it does, it has a transformer right here that senses the imbalance load between the hot and neutral legs that's been monitored. Okay? So this little white component is your transformer. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is the amplifier which is this device right here and if you notice the amplifier you have a, a, a yellow wire that's tied to the dark screw you have a pink wire that's tied to the neutral screw and those components are actually go back again to the transformer so what the amplifier does is powered by the circuit itself it's got um, actually the 110 120 volt lead coming into it and what happens it's a device that's so sensitive that it will let a balanced current load of 15 amps go through it to the primary wind it, but it will detect a 5 milliamp, which is 5 thousandths of an amp. That's what will trip the solenoid. And the operation time of the solenoid is actually 1 40th of a second. Okay, now the next thing you want to talk about is the... Um, a test component which is added through a 25 ohm resistor which is going to the test button which is here okay the test button here when you push the test button when you got your power on it actually will trip out the switch and I want you to look at that very closely at the top you'll see a silver looking component right there see it when you push that test button it creates a 25 ohm resistor that goes down through here and it actually touches the solenoid. So look at that, look at the transformer, I'm sorry, so transformer. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna show you the ground on the other side. That is what creates the 25 ohm resistance. So the parts are made up really of a transformer, an amplifier, and a solenoid. These things are used in locations that monitor kitchens, bathrooms, outside of the houses, anything below six foot of grade. They are used in garages. Anywhere there's a possible wet, wet location, anytime there's HVAC equipment around that has to be monitored, it has to be anywhere in a commercial garage, a commercial kitchen, anything that is possibly a hazard has to have the electrical monitored through a GFI. This is the way to do it. I just thought you might want to see what the inside of a GFI breaker looks like. If you have any questions on how to hook these up, just give us a call. Jones Air Conditioning, 239-596-5855. Go to jonesairconditioning.com. If you like this, please share. Please subscribe. And please comment. Thank you.